Hey dudes, it's Marty from Needlebutt Farms and today we're gonna talk about bee space. So today I was out doing my inspection and I noticed that I had some swarm cells in one of my boxes, which is great because I can take those swarm cells and I can put them in a new beehive and make a new beehive out of those swarm cells. So I'm prepping these boxes and what I do to prep those boxes is I use a little metal spacer. So you get like 20 of these for like $4. They're super cheap and they're great because they help you keep bee space. So bee space is three eighths of an inch or anywhere between one quarter and one half of an inch if you wanna get a little more liberal with it. And the reason that that is important is because if you use less than one quarter of an inch, they're going to try and fill that space up with propolis because they can't fit in there. And if you give them more than half of an inch, they're going to fill it up with honeycomb which sounds like a great thing, but it's not on the template. So there's actually just honeycomb everywhere and it's a terrible thing. So here I've got some subject matter for you. So here's where I didn't take into account bee space and I put in a feeder and they just filled this sucker up with honeycomb. And when I ripped it out, the bees were real upset with me. And it was a bummer because I felt bad doing it, but I had to do it because the feeder needed to come out. So when you use this bee spacer, this little metal spacer, you might notice that you only get nine frames. So this only has nine frames in it, and this has 10 frames in it, and it has no spacers in it. So it sounds like you're getting ripped off, but really you're not. So I've not used spacers before, and when you do your inspection, you're trying to get it perfect, but inevitably what's going to happen is you're gonna do something like this. So the bees are going to work real hard to make the most out of this space right here. And so you're going to leave for about 10 days, come back to do your inspection and be like, oh my God, what have you done? But really they didn't do it, you did it. But also they did it. So you're going to have to get in here because now these are domesticated bees. You have to do your inspection or you're just being a bad beekeeper. So the only way that you can get this out is you can't like pick up one at a time because you're ripping all this honeycomb and i've tried this i've tried it a bunch of different ways the only way you can really do it is to do this and pick it up but the terrible thing about that is you just squished a ton of bees you killed a bunch of brood you probably smashed a queen cell you probably smashed a bunch of honey so you smashed all these bees and now the bees are mad at you. And then you've got to rip it apart and clean it up. And now the bees are even more mad at you. And then you're mad at yourself because now you've got bee guts and honey all over your like newly washed bee suit. And you're like, man, this is such a mess. And then you'll be like, man, I should have listened to that guy. I got some bee spacers. 